Now it's time to get down to business. At 7.15, I always say that there is a a Monday morning mindfulness meditation, and this is that time. So you know what that means, right? It is time to get quiet and be still and listen to the still, small voice. And thank you for that thumbs up on Facebook this morning. And I hope you'll enjoy this and uh, send out a text or a tweet or Instagram or something, something and let me know what they're about to miss. Because this is your chance to not only become quiet for yourself, but as Dr. Maya Angelou says, to prepare yourself to arm yourself to put on the armor of God. And the armor of God is what you need to move you forward in a place where you can be attacked and not respond to it. You can see the situation and be okay with the situation. Oh, oh, there you go. What I need you to do is to become quiet, sit still. I'm about to put it right there. And close your eyes, sit up straight in your chair, and know that you are at the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing. And the right thing means to concentrate on the breath. It is the breath that will keep you in a place of peace and harmony. It is the breath that will connect you to the divine. And you are already divine. Yes, you are. But now you're even more divine. So as we begin the process, we will inhale to the count of hold it and then exhale. So sitting up straight, feet flat on the floor, back erect, nothing in your hands, nothing in your lap, nothing on your heart, but the concentrate and the focus on the breath. And as you breathe, give thanks for the breath because someone somewhere is unable to breathe on their own. Someone somewhere has a trachea right here and they talk like this. Because they unwittingly, unknowingly abused the voice channel. And I saw a commercial on television the other day, and it just reminded me, I'm grateful that I quit smoking. And if you have a smoking issue, you can't stop smoking. You've been trying to do it on your own. Stop trying. Give it to the creator, and it will be gone just like that. I promise you, because that's how it happened to me. And if it can happen to me, it can happen to you. So just think on that and know that and be okay with that. And as we begin the process, let us become aware of our chest. Focus not on me if you're watching Facebook Live. Do not watch me. The only thing you should be looking at is the inside of your eyelids because you will begin to breathe and you will concentrate on the breath, and you can't look at me and do two things at one time in this meditation. So let us begin. Inhale deeply to the count of six. Hold it. And exhale. Inhale deeply to the count of six. Hold it. And exhale. Inhale to the count of six and hold it. And exhale. Now continue breathing and counting to yourself and listening to my voice. As you concentrate on your chest, feel the chest inhale. When you inhale, your chest should inflate. And when you exhale, your chest should deflate. If you are not feeling movement in your chest or feel your stomach expanding, then you're not breathing correctly. So just try to breathe a little bit deeper. You may, you know, don't breathe 
deep enough where you pass out, but breathe enough where you feel the body moving. And that's what we want to focus on. We want the body to be moving. So inhale deeply. Giving thanks for the breath, knowing that we are at the right place at the right time as we connect with the creator, with the essence of who we are. We are not circumstances. We are not our situations. We are not our challenges. We are not alone. Because we are always one with the one. We are one with the creator, that which created us, one which brought us into this system to give us divine order, divine design, divine placement, right place, at the right time, doing the right thing. Now, we may think, the ego mind may think this could not be because there are too many situations and circumstances that come upon us that we are not prepared to handle. Well, that is why this Monday morning mindfulness meditation session is crucial in your life. And you don't have to spend 10 or 15 minutes with it. You can spend two minutes with it. Because it only takes a second to connect with the divine as we continue to breathe. Inhale. And exhale, giving thanks for the breath. Now let us focus our energy beginning at the top of the head. Feel the energy moving as it circulates and moves down through the forehead the all-seeing third eye, the pineal gland that knows all, is all, has all, and will direct us and continue to move, think, and have its being. That's what the creator does. It knows all and gives us direction. And as we open our minds and accept this invitation, to accept the invitation, to accept the invitation, to accept the energy as it flows down, from the third eye to the middle of the forehead, down through the nose, the cheeks, the eye sockets, the eyelids, the lips, the chin, and the earlobes. We inhale, we give thanks. Inhale deeply. Hold it. And exhale. As the energy continues to flow down through the neck, the shoulders, the chest, the solar plexus. Yes. As we give breath, we inhale deeply. Hold it and exhale as the energy continues to circulate and percolate down through the reproductive organs, the colon, and the hips and the thighs and the backs and the spine and the buttocks. We give thanks. Inhale deeply. As the energy continues to travel down through the thighs, the knees, the legs, the ankles, the shins, ah, yes, the energy is moving, and we feel it, and we give thanks. As the energy continues to flow down through the arches, the heel, the top, and the back of the foot, And finally, the toes. We twiggle the toes and we wiggle the fingers as we give thanks for the energy in our hands and our wrists and our elbows and our arms. And we can even take a little stress relief break as we move the pieces and the portions of the body. Wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the hands, wiggle the shoulders. And we inhale deeply, and we exhale. And we inhale deeply, holding it to the count of six, and exhale. And this time as we inhale, we go back to the top of the head, giving thanks for the throat, the heart, the brain, 
the liver, the lungs, the pancreas, the spine, the spleen, and all the wonderful millions and trillions of cells and muscle fibers and tendons and ligaments that are working this morning, even though we may have pain in our bodies, we are here, we are alive, and we can work on the pain because we have the power of the brain to stop the pain, to redirect the pain. And this is something that I learned in my pain therapy after my accident, my incident, God's way of remaining anonymous. anonymous. Hmm. That was my wake-up call to learn how to redirect the pain. And that is a portion of the system that is in the innovative mindfulness breakthrough system that I designed specifically with us in mind who suffer from pain. When we learn to redirect, the, redirect that pain that's in the knee, we begin to inhale, holding the breath, knowing that that pain is a sign that there is an imbalance somewhere, and it usually has to do with the ego, which relates to stubbornness. And if you'd like to look that up, I strongly suggest look in a copy of Louise Hay's book, Heal Your Body. She healed people who had cancer and AIDS, and uh, I think she can help us too. And if you want to practice the affirmations, they are there for yours, for the using. And help is available. Continue to breathe. Inhale deeply. And know you are always at the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing, getting the right message. If what you need is a new system, it's available right here, right now. The innovative mindfulness breakthrough system. It's a four CD audio cassette program available to you at zeldaspeaks.com. And as we complete this session, inhale deeply and exhale chin to chest as we rotate the head to the left, slowly, 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 bringing it around to the back, slowly, Slowly, slowly bringing it around to the back and over to the right. Slowly, slow down. You're moving way too fast. Slowly. You should just be getting to the right. And then bringing your head back center. Chin to chest. Reversing your head to the right. Slowly. You may feel a a pop or two, but that's just air in between the joints. Slowly, you should just be getting around to the back. You may experience a little pain there, but just keep moving. If you're sitting up straight, that really helps because it's hard to bend your head and your body is not correct. Slowly coming around to the front. Head up. Inhale deeply. Hold it. And exhale. Look as far as you can to the left. Oh, feel that stretch. Does it not feel good? Bring your head back to the front and over to the right. Feel that stretch. Yes, it feels good. I can feel pain. Even if there is pain, I can feel, and that is the point we are alive. Bring your head back to front. Inhale deeply. I'm giving thanks for the breath. Now, this is a practice that you can do on your own every day, all day. And if you are at some point attacked or mentally or physically attacked during the course of the day, this is something that you can practice really beginning the process of breathing. When you breathe, people will step away from you because they think you're crazy. And crazy is good sometimes if it gets them to leave you alone. And it really, really helps if you keep a little garlic or onion on your breath. You know, I've learned mushrooms making breath too. So 
eat some mushrooms, eat some garlic and some onion, and I promise you they will leave you alone. 